Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to Lodge for another week. Um, uh, as we said the other day, I hadn't had very many runners, but um, probably give me a chance to uh, go and watch the boys play a bit of footy, so we'll uh, show you a bit of footage of that a bit later on. So uh, we've got a few runners this week, let's get stuck into it. Godless Bezier are in at uh, Geelong on Sunday. Tossed, really tossed up where to go with her. And uh, I just thought the best option is Geelong. Uh, I'll love it if it's a mile, but it's 15, 20 or something like that. So it's not far off it. And I just think a little trip up the road um, rather than three or four hour flight trips better for her. Um, galloped up nice and sharp through the week. Her first up run, she just had no luck, was caught wide off the track. Was only beaten about four and a half lengths. It wasn't flogged. So uh, if she can half pie draw a gate, um, an extra 200 metres is only going to suit her. Um, I expect her to run a place or better on on Sunday, so that's La Spezia on um, La Spezia on uh, on Sunday at Geelong. Got a little two-year-old having his first start at Geelong on Sunday called Champagne Sabre. Um, I don't really, as a rule, run a lot of two-year-olds, but this little bloke has um, just done absolutely everything right. I, I would really like to give him another trial, but um, this time of year we only have sort of trials on the synthetic, and I just, I've had no luck trialling two-year-olds on synthetic tracks. So um, I'm going to take him to the races on Sunday with no expectation, just uh, purely an education's uh, sake and give him a trip away. So just nice, he's only up the road here to Geelong, he can hop on the truck and go in there, stand there with a few other horses. And, uh, and have a race. He'll jump out, he'll probably sort of get back to midfieldish, I suppose, and probably beat half of them home. He, I don't think he's fast enough to win a 12 and a metre race, but he's one of those just two-year-olds that does absolutely everything right. He, he will not get a nicer horse to train than this little horse, so uh, really keen to get into the races. As I said, he probably needs another trial to sort of bang out and be competitive, but I think we're going to get a lot of, uh, lot of benefit by just taking him to the races. That's Champagne Sabre. Uh, Tango Jewel goes to Geelong on Sunday. Um, tossed up where to, where to take her. I had her in a few spots. Um, I've just hung back and I'm just going to take her to Geelong. It's an 1100 metre race, which she's what she won. She won really impressively over 1100. So I've just decided to keep her at that. Um, it's a benchmark 70, so there's a fair bit of depth in this race. I probably could have taken a softer option, but I, I just yeah, I think it's the right race, the right distance, and the right timing so for her. So and she galloped up really, really well this morning. So I'll take her there. Um, hopefully, can just draw a half a decent gate. She'll bounce out and be in the first two or three and give herself every chance but she got to the line beautiful lovely and strong this morning in her gallop so um uh, i'm just not sure if she just might be looking for the 1200 but anyway we'll see how we go that's tango jewel at geelong on sunday Got a Zoya in at Seymour on Tuesday. I had her in a, a heap of places and just trying to find the right race for her. her. Her work's been a little bit hot and cold. She's a real aggressive sort of little filly. And um, one week she works good and the next time she works a bit poor. But I think we've got her right. I'm going to get a blood count taken from her tomorrow morning. If that comes back good, I'll give her a nice solid gallop on Saturday morning. And then she can go to Seymour on Tuesday. But um, up to the mile, should just suit her down to the ground. So I, I you know, expect her to go really well. This is going to be a really nice filly. If you can just hold her up, she's going to be a really nice filly racing through the winter in Melbourne. G'day guys, uh, welcome to Ren Stables. Uh, this week's horse is a horse called La Spezia. Uh, she ran really well first up at Bendigo. I thought her run was enormous uh, with just the ground that she covered and uh, I think uh, right through the line she was uh, she was great. Uh, she'll go to Geelong, 1500 metres. Um, Zach Spain sticks, uh, it's a home track, so a lot of ticks in the boxes and uh, I don't think we could have this horse, I don't, I, I don't know if we've had her better in her career. Um, she's bright, she's well, she looks great and uh, she's a horse that I think when she's in the zone she, she races really well and she's able to, um, early on in her career she actually strung a couple of wins together, um, but then she's a funny horse, when she's off she's horribly off, so uh, at the moment I think she's really in the zone, uh, so second up, uh, she's won second up before, um, and uh, really like the 1500 meters. I think that's sort of a, a really good distance for her. So uh, we'll probably just ride a sort of fourth, fifth, sixth, something like that. Hopefully she can draw a gate. Um, Zach Spain's uh, he's won and he's rode it really well before. So uh, there won't be many excuses at Geelong on Sunday for La Spezia. G'day guys, big jobs here. Uh, there's not a lot racing at the Emsley Lodge at the moment. So uh, Rob thought he'd stitch me up coming down to Port Arlington last week and uh, videoing my game. Uh, I absolutely copped it from my teammates on Tuesday night. 
Uh, they gave me a serving and a half and said, you can't be doing that. So uh, don't let the number 71 fool you. I kicked a couple of goals. Just giving the viewers what they want. Uh, got playing against a younger brother this week, so as always, there'll be a sally out down there. Um, come down to Queens Park. Now, I hope you guys are all well and uh, hope to be back on soon. Cheers. Yeah, see what I've got to put up with. Uh, well done to the cameraman there. I reckon he kicked the ball twice. He got the handball twice and he picked it up once. That was it. Is uh, Anyway, uh, well done. Um, that's probably a good part about it. <laughs> I haven't been able to go watch the boys play. This week they're actually an interesting game. I don't think it'll ever happen again. Is the um, uh, Both James and Derby are uh, playing for Ammos and they're playing against Brad who plays for Torquay. So uh, really interesting. The E-clash, I suppose they call it this week. So anyway, uh, a couple of nice horses going to the races. A really nice little two-year-old. Uh, he probably won't be real, all that competitive on uh, Sunday I wouldn't think little champagne sabre but geez a lovely horse I'm going to come bring him back and maybe set him for a couple of nice staying races in the spring but uh, uh, he uh, they'll just be too fast for him on um, on Sunday but uh, follow that little horse he's just an absolute beauty uh, La Spezia gets, gets here she'll, she'll get her chance on Sunday uh, I think she's going good I, I don't think I've ever seen her this big and strong so hopefully it sort of takes its way to the races with her but um, she, she galloped up here very very sharp she galloped up with Blow In um, uh, who's genuine sort of city grade horse and, uh, um, and she sort of had the better at him through the week so um, really keen to sort of take her to the races so could be a good weekend I think until next week see you later stitch me up coming down to Port Arlington last weekend videoing our game uh, got on the couple end of the got on oh. it'll be a sellout to come and watch big job the big job show